I'm Jess, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my Charlotte Tilbury blush collection, which I am very excited about. I have a few other Charlotte Tilbury collection videos, so I will link the playlist down below and up above. So far, I've done my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and lip glosses, my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, and my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. So if you guys wanna see those other collection videos, make sure you check out the playlist. Today, we're gonna to talk about blush, and I'm very excited. So let's jump right into the video. First one I wanna show you is the one that I'm actually wearing on my face right now and that is this guy right here this is walk of no shame so today was actually my first time trying out this blush and walk of no shame was originally a charlotte tilbury lipstick it's one of her top sellers i love it so much i recommend it to people all the time who are looking for a little bit of color not too much not too little it's like a really nice brick red color look for it in my lipstick collection video if you want to see what it looks like on because it was such a popular shade she actually extended the range so there's a bunch of walk of no shame products now and one of the things that came in that extension was this blush so you can see the outside edge is sort of that nice rosy color and then the middle is more of a really subtle highlight all that really does is give the blush some glow. It doesn't look glittery or shimmery. It's actually quite subtle, so it just makes everything go on really smooth, helps blend everything out, and gives your cheeks that really beautiful sort of wet look, almost like a glow to the skin. But I just love the way this looks on my cheeks right now. I feel like I look so youthful and fresh and rosy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm super happy with it on first impressions. And that is the first Charlotte Tilbury blush that I have to show you today. The next one that I wanna show you is newer to me as well. And I don't actually use this on myself. So this is Pillow Talk Intense. This is the deeper version of the Pillow Talk blush. So similar to the Walk of No Shame blush, the Pillow Talk blushes have a color around the outside and then a highlighter in the middle. The highlight in this one is definitely more of an intense highlighter than the one that comes in the Walk of No Shame. So it does give a little bit more of a glow. You can really use it to highlight the top of the cheekbone. I am so in love with this. I was working on a deeper skin tone and I was worried that I didn't have enough blush for her. So I ordered this one in and when I used it on a deep skin tone for the first time, I was blown away. I wish I could show you guys like pictures or footage of me applying it, but now anytime anyone is like a medium to deep skin tone, I get so excited to use this blush on them. It just looks so healthy and fresh and rosy and delicious and glowy. It's so, 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 so good. So if you are curious about the Pillow Talk Intense Blush and you're more of a medium to deep skin tone, please get it. It is so good. You're going to love it. Okay. So back to some oldies, but goodies. I'm just going to pull these out of here at random. The first one that I'm pulling out is called sex on fire. That's this guy right here. This is another one that's good for more medium skin tones. I'd say like fair to medium people can wear this shade. This is a really beautiful blush that goes really well with red lipstick. So if you're wearing a beautiful holiday red and you want a nice subtle rosy cheek, this is going to be the one for you. I also use this blush in my freelance makeup kit because it's quite versatile so the way these blushes are designed by Charlotte is that you're meant to swish around the outside edge first you use that to dust the blush up the cheek then you pop right into that center shade right there and you apply that to the apples of the face so all of the blushes that I'm going to show you like going forward are these two-tone style blushes and that's really versatile to have in your freelance makeup kit because I can just use that outside color or I can just use the inside color. I can mix the two together. I can do it the way that Charlotte recommends with the swish and pop. So it's kind of like two blushes in one. So I'm able to carry less product with me. A lot of times I'll use this on people who um, are very fair and they want a more nude or more pink lip than that outside really nice rosy soft pink color looks really nice on them. I use just that outside side edge quite frequently in my kit all on its own the middle part is actually starting to like protrude because I use the outside color so much in my makeup kit but on myself I always do this swish and pop technique I really enjoy this guy especially for more I want to say like mature looks more pulled together classy smart if you think about like a holiday look a red lip look just something very glamorous that's when I go for this blush right here of all of Charlotte's blushes, I'd say this is one of the most natural. It's quite rosy as opposed to like peachy or pinky. It's just nice and neutral and rosy and kind of like in between there. All right, next up we have Love Glow. 
So Love Glow gives a really beautiful pop of fresh pink to the cheek. It's quite a youthful blush. It makes you look very like young and fresh. It works really nicely with blue toned pink lipsticks. So from Charlotte Tilbury, think like Live It Up, Coachella Coral, Amazing Grace, Colors like that will work really, really nicely with this blush. If I'm doing a really fresh look, like I'm going with like a champagne, really soft color on the eye, a pop of pink on the lip, then I love to just throw this all over my cheeks and do like a really sort of dramatic, fresh blush look. It's also a really good color for every day. So if you are just like a one blush type of gal and you just want a blush that's gonna work with any lipstick, any eyeshadow, anything like that, I would probably recommend going for this one. This is one of the two top sellers from Charlotte Tilbury, this one and then the one that I'll show you guys next, Ecstasy, just to compare them to each other. It looks quite pink in the pan on the camera, but it comes off quite soft, although it is buildable and you can really get that nice sort of soft pink flushed look to the cheek. A really pretty great everyday blush that works for majority of fair to medium skin tones. So this is Ecstasy. This is the other one of Charlotte's top selling blushes. This one is definitely more of a peachy pink. So this is going to work really nicely with more peachy lipsticks. If you think Penelope Pink, Bitch Perfect, colors like that. This one is also really nice if you have a tan. That peachy warm undertone looks so beautiful on more bronzed skin. So this is gonna work really nicely on a medium skin tone as well. It's got a bit more color to it than Love Glow, but it's definitely still on the lighter side when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury's blushes. These are the two side by side. So you can see Love Glow is definitely a lot more pink, whereas this one is a lot more peach. Both are really beautiful. This is another one that you can just throw on as like your everyday blush, especially if you want to look a little bit more like beachy and summery and bronzy as opposed to like youthful and fresh. Um, I hope that makes sense. All of my blushes, I'd say this is probably my most used one. I reach for this one most often. I think it looks really nice when I'm not doing a lot of other eye makeup or I'm not putting on a strong lip and I want to just add like a good amount of color to my cheek but nothing too dramatic or too noticeable i'll reach for this one quite often for that type of look and bitch perfect is my favorite charlotte tilbury lipstick so i'm wearing that one all the time and so this one goes really good with that so i wear it for that reason too but i really love ecstasy so much i'd say out of all of them it's probably my favorite although this walk of shame is looking pretty good so we'll see how it contends over the coming months but yeah i really love ecstasy i think you guys will like it too Next up, we have Love is the Drug. This is the first blush from Charlotte Tilbury that I ever had. It came in my vintage vamp look. This gives a really bright pop of pink to the cheek. I feel like more mature women who grew up in like the 70s and 80s really gravitate towards this kind of color because it really gives like that 80s pink flush to the cheek. Again, this is going to work really great with blue based lipsticks. It's quite dramatic, so it's going to work on like medium to deeper skin tones. If you're super deep, it probably won't show up on you, but like medium to deeper skin tones. And then I'm quite fair, so I can use this with a really soft hand. I don't reach for this one as much, but I do really like it when I'm wearing a deeper shade of lipstick. So if I'm wearing like a dark brown or a dark red color, then I'll go for this one. I feel like they pair really nicely together in those instances. And then sometimes, yeah, I wanna go for like that girly, really bright pink pop of color on the cheek. I think like freckles and lots of highlighter, then I'll reach for this one for that kind of look too. Love is the Drug gives a similar type of look for a medium to deeper skin tone that Love Glow would give to a fair skin tone. So I just wanna show you the two side by side. Here's Love is the Drug and here is Love Glow. You can see they're both that blue toned pink shade, that cool toned color. But this one is definitely gonna be more dramatic and give like more of that pop of pink, whereas this one is gonna be more subtle, more of like an everyday kind of blush for a fair skin tone like I mentioned before. But yeah, both are really pretty. And I have a soft place in my heart for this guy because it's my original. I think you could see in the close-up, it's starting to kind of get like cracks in it. So I'm worried it's gonna fall apart here soon. But yeah, it's been with me for about four years now and I love her. And then the last of my powder blushes is this guy right here. This is called First Love. So this is the lightest of Charlotte's blushes. It's very nude. It has sort of a peachy undertone to it. This is gonna be for the very fair skinned gals who feel like when they put on blush, it's just completely overpowering because of how fair their skin tone is. This one's gonna work really well for that. If you wanna just add a teeny bit of color back into your skin, 
but you don't want it to look like you're wearing blush, this is gonna work really nicely for that too. I also have a lot of clients who have a lot of redness in their skin. And so I'll go in with foundation, I'll cover up all of their redness, and then sometimes when I go back in with blush, they feel like their redness is showing through. So I really like to use this on that type of client because it has that peachy undertone to it. So it doesn't have any type of pink or redness, which someone with red skin is gonna be a little bit more self-conscious about. It just gives that really nice sort of peach, touch of color to the complexion so that you look healthy, you look like you're wearing blush, but it doesn't look like the redness in your skin is showing through from underneath. I love to wear this blush when I have a lot of other things going on on my face. So if I do a really dramatic smoky eye with a thick black liner and a nude lip, I love to pop this on with that. Think rock chick type of looks. Also, if I'm doing like really soft makeup and I just don't want it to look like I have any makeup on, but I want to add like that little touch of color to my cheek just to freshen things up a little bit, I'll go in with this one. Really nice for fair skin gals or gals who have a lot of redness in their skin that don't want any kind of pink or red in their blush. I think you'll really like this guy right here. This is another really popular one with Charlotte Tilbury. People kind of look at it in the pan and they think like, that's too nude, that's too light, what's that going to do? But once you actually get it on the skin, it, it looks quite nice. You guys will see it in the overlay that I put in. But yeah, first love, really nice one. Okay, and then I thought I would just throw this in here too because this is a Charlotte Tilbury blush of mine as well. This is a cream blush. So this is in the color Moon Beach. So just ignore that other swatch that's from a video that I just filmed, but here is what Moon Beach looks like. So it's kind of peachy. It's got a little bit of a gold shimmer going through it. So this is a discontinued formula for Charlotte Tilbury. However, I do think she still carries this one single shade because this was by far the most popular one. For, I would say that this is more of a highlighter than anything. It does have that really beautiful glow to it, and because it is a cream, you can apply it to the top of the cheek and just kind of blend it in for a really soft amount of color and some nice glow. The reason these are called beach sticks is because the idea behind them was like, you're going on vacation, you don't wanna put on a lot of makeup, you want like a multi-use product. So I feel like with some unisex healthy glow, her tinted moisturizer, a little bit of Moon Beach, just dabbed on the cheeks before you go out for dinner with a little bit of this even on your lip, you're gonna get like a nice subtle glow to the skin, a little bit of peachiness, a little bit of shimmer. It's for sure not my favorite cream formula product, but I don't mind it. And I do know that a lot of people really loved this. They would come in like over and over and over to repurchase. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. I think you will like it but just be aware that it's definitely subtle. Not a ton of that peachiness comes through on the skin. Um, it's more of like a golden glow with a little bit of a peachy undertone than anything. And that's it for my blush collection, you guys. That was really quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other Charlotte Tilbury collection videos if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.